everyone. How are you today? It's really windy here and we're expecting hail and thunderstorms tonight. So I wanted to go ahead and get my video done in case electricity goes out. I live out in the country. <laughs> anyway, today I have something really yummy for you to try. It's really simple and easy. It doesn't take very much time and I know you're going to love it. It's garlic parmesan knots and it's made with canned biscuits. So let's get cooking. What you're going to need to make your easy garlic parmesan knots is you're going to need some grand canned biscuits. I have the southern home style, but you can use buttermilk or whatever. You're going to need two tablespoons of freshly grated parmesan. Gonna need three fourths of a teaspoon of garlic powder. A half a teaspoon of dried parsley flakes. And then you're gonna need um, a fourth of a cup of butter, which equals four tablespoons, and you're going to want to melt that. So let's do this. It's really quick, simple, and easy, and oh, so yummy. Okay, you're going to want to melt your um, four fourth of a cup or four tablespoons of butter, which I've done, and we're going to add our Parmesan to it. Our garlic powder to it our parsley and our fourth of a teaspoon of salt and we're gonna whisk it together mm -mm -mm. my mouth is watering for this video, I'm only going to do a couple of knots, garlic parmesan knots for y'all because um, the rest of my biscuits, I'm going to wait and make them for supper so they'll be nice and warm and fresh out of the oven. So I'm just going to make display a couple of them for y'all to make this video. Okay, next, we're going to want to open your biscuits. Now I'm going to take one biscuit out for demonstration purposes to show y'all. And you're going to cut it in half. Okay. Then you're going to want to roll it. And you want to roll it towards about five inches long. It's better to roll it this way. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to take it and you're going to tie it just like you do any other shoelace or knot or anything. And there you go. You got your one little knot. Do the next one. My hands are clean. Make them about five inches long or five or six inches long, just long enough to be able to tie your knot. There you go. Got your knot. There it is right there. Now you're gonna wanna put it on your baking sheet, whatever you're baking, using for a baking sheet. Then you're going to put a little butter on it, just some of your mixture. Or you can use, um, instead of using parchment paper, you can just put some um, non-stick cooking spray on your 
cookie sheet. Okay, I'm doing these two for y'all. There we go. All right, now we're going to put them in the 400 degree oven and we're going to cook them 8 to 10 minutes. So I'll be right back. All right, everybody, they're done. I baked them for nine minutes until they were golden. So, mm mm mm. What I want to do now is put some more of my butter mixture on there. Now, if you were serving these for dinner or lunch, this is what you'd do, but you'd probably have um, about 16 of these because one can of Grand Biscuits has eight biscuits in it. So you'd be making 16 of them, which I'll be doing the rest of them tonight when we have our supper. All right, we're gonna do a, two, a taste test and I have two taste, two taste testers here today. My grandson, Sullivan, and I think you know this lady. Hi. All right, so you're gonna divide one of those and um, give me an idea of how they taste. Yeah, they're a little hot. <laughs> you like it, huh? Yeah, it's good, huh? Just the rest of this. What do you think? Oh, yeah, thumbs up. All right. There we go, everybody. So, these are quick and easy and so delicious. So, until my next video, happy eating.